Hi, uh, good evening. Today I am going to teach you about the how to install DCM4G on the Windows. I have received a lot of queries about it regarding the uh, installation of DCM4G on the Windows because I have already uploaded the video on the DCM4G how to install on the Ubuntu. So today I am going to teach you about how to install DCM4G on the uh, Windows. First of all, connect the, the virtual machine where we need to install the DCM4G. Okay, after connecting your virtual machine, open the Chrome browser. And I have a link of complete zip file. So I will also share this link in the video's description. You can download this complete zip file and click on the download. Download anyway. And, uh, this is a 4, 413 MB file and it is uh, zip with a complete mandatory file and requirements so first of all i now i am unzipping this why is it finish it's on the desktop okay here is the folder so let's start here is the instruction in the text file I have also uh, installed uh, I have set up it first of all you need to download this uh, these projects in it but I have already compressed these projects so uh, let's start with uh, <coughs> uh, install MySQL so to install the MySQL independently it's better to install the XAMPP server so let's start the XAMPP server okay it's okay next and it should be check all these things and the next 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 that's that's installing this okay uh, zamp is installed and do you want to start the control panel yes it's finished okay uh, it's installed let's start the mysql only we don't need all these things so we just start the mysql so just change and it's now running <coughs> let's uh, wait for a few minutes until it will start so let's go to the next step now create a blank database mysql root schema name with the PaxDB okay so we need to create the MySQL database with the name of PaxDB okay let's start the MySQL now okay. so click on the admin um, PHP my admin so we can easily create the DB via this PHP uh, my admin portal so first we need to go to the database these are already set up database okay so first we need to create the user account with the super privileges with name pax so uh, user can create the with new user account as the username at uh, is pax house name no need the password password should be the blank and Grant all pri privileges. Okay. And global privileges. Check all. Okay. Now click on the code. Which form is missing? Let's set up the password also with name P A C S PAX. Okay. PAX PAX and now click on go okay retype the password p a c s pax it's all in the small letter click on go okay it's created and uh, 
PHP. No? Okay, now it's to check the user accounts. See this? Uh, okay, we are in uh, PM and local account usage. Okay, after set up the user packs, now we need to log in and throw this user and create the database. And so once we log out, it will not work because we have directly opened. So what we do, we have to click on this config. Okay, here's PHP myadmin config.inc. So what should be the root now? So here we search authentication type and info. No, let's again type and info. No, let's again open this. Mm. Yep, it's the same. Then why it's need to. Let's find the user. Mm. Okay, uh, here we find uh, authentication manually, authentication type and info and here is authentication type and to the user user is root so we have created the user with name pex and our password was also pex so it has a password and in this column we type pex also so we save this file control s and close it and just log out refresh we again open admin mysql admin okay we are now login with the uh, sql if we have type any wrong then we will not log in so now we create the database there's a database so the database name was pexdb okay okay let's start set up uh, database name pexdb okay and just create it okay here is pexdb is created now we need to upload the database so we went to here and we have the tcm4g and we have the sql and we have this file create my sql we need to copy and set up this here backstage just copy it and close the file again uh, open this backstp click on the import click choose file and we need to import the database mysql database and that uh, it's uploading now once it will be finished it will give a success error successful notification yes see this import has been successfully without any error it should be imported without any error. if you get any error it means you have made some mistake so pax db is here this is all the uh, database belongs to the dcm4g so now now we need to do is now we need to install the java click here double click on the java run next next it's installing and all these file are in the folder the next okay let's close now we head to the second step now again 
okay now we move open to the directions files we have completed the pax db install jboss extract jboss directory and jboss directory is already extracted here so what we do we just open and we just click on the bin and copy this path location okay open the command prompt cmd cd desktop and we again cd right click we have copied the path and press enter cls now we need to install the jboss into the relevant directory so what should we do and this is the install jboss directory command but you have to confirm the path where you have inserted this so this is about the jboss let's start from fresh <coughs> open this jboss directory and i have copied this and setting up this like uh, here copy open right click and enter oh it's giving error okay let's try again uh, again open this and we just copy this line right click and enter okay we are getting error of installing jboss directory so what we do we have to download the fresh j dot from this link copy and it uh, it's downloading as I have already downloaded so cancel it click here need to unzip this jboss directory file sorry why is that finish and it's unzip on the desktop and copy this directory as it is cut this directory go to here this PC C drive and paste here yeah. okay replace destination files <coughs> okay here it is so uh, it's uh, uh, inst uh, it's a J directory is available in this directory so what we need to do is first of all again we need to open the command prompt run as administrator we need to add the location of dcm4g this location you can set your location where your dcm4g you have extracted okay i have extracted here just copy okay just paste here yes we are in the right directory cls now we need to install the jboss into the directory we have copied in c drive so we have just copy from here copy right click and click here yes see this yes 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 yes, yes. A, A, A. okay it's uh, it's all copied so it was get uh, giving and uh, manually a because i have already copied this folder so that's why it's giving error you just uh, install this command and automatically uh, all these files will be copied so we have again go to cls intro now we need to set uh, CD bin now. Okay, it should be here. 
4G CD. This is the directory of the bin. Okay. Let's spin. Okay, Java is exported through this command and now we manually run dot pad this way. Uh, we just close this, close this, double click on this, DCM4G and this is the bin and we need to install run dot, what's the command, run dot pad. So it's this is the run dot pad file. Double click. Yes, run. Close. See, it's it's initializing our DCM 4G server is starting now. Let's wait until it will be generated and started. JBoss Web Services. It will be created local host and uh, IP also. So let's start it. See this? It's it's on listening, listening. Started in thirty seconds. Yeah, that's here. Copy this link. Copy. Right click. Install. Okay, it's great. We have we have set up this. Uh, it's it's the main page of the DCM Forge. Right click. Okay, the default username and password is admin and admin. If this password will not work, it means you have wrongly configured the database. So let's try ADMIN enter ADMIN enter sign in. See this? It's working now. So this that's it. Trash. There is the application entity. See this. Uh, this is the AI title. Uh, you need to check it's working or not. Click here. ADCM 4G local host, and this is this is the AI title. This is the static IP, but instead of IP, we are using local host. This is the unsecured port. We we'll check the echo and ping. It's the echo. Yes, it should be green. And this is the ping execute ping localhost is fail because we have put the local is this instead of ip if that's why it's ping but echo should be working it is it is done 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 okay here is a modality work list uh, is the teaching file here this is the man and dashboard and this is the role jboss admin web admin and web user this is the users you can modify your admin and simple username password and from here you can type old and set the new password log of admin this is the man folder this is a trash applications that's it log off thank you so that's all if you uh, feel any hesitation during installation just comment below or if you want to hire me for this complete setup, I have uh, given link in my description of the fiber profile. Thank you very much.